This is nothing I would wish on my worst enemy. Shannon Earnshaw is talking about the pain only a parent who's lost a child can fully understand. Last September, her 25-year-old son, Sean Dewey, died of fentanyl poisoning. Shannon wears Sean's work badge to always have him with her. I just feel like I don't have my person in my corner. I'm still gathering up pit pictures of like as she got older. Sean's cousin Katie Kennedy was also 25. She too died of fentanyl poisoning almost a year ago. Katie's mom Jennifer has set up a memorial in her home to both Sean and Katie. It's been a struggle all year. Um, but these past couple months I've been trying to like manage. KCK police are aggressively attacking the problem, seizing more than 10,000 fake prescription pills laced with fentanyl last weekend. We're doing seizures almost daily. It's not just KCK. Federal agents have charged 22-year-old Tiger Dean Dragu with fentanyl trafficking and claim he's connected to the fentanyl poisoning deaths of three Belton teens. We're here. Uh, we're going to educate ourselves so we can save our kids. And it's not just parents who feel the impact. Jennifer Earnshaw is now taking care of her four-year-old grandson, Stephen, affectionately called Jelly Bean. He'll now grow up without his mom. He cries for her every day. Katie and Sean were part of a record 174 overdose cases in KCK last year, including 40 deaths. In KCK, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News.